Welcome to the card market feature match where we are playing cards so bad you should call the police on us. Well, I actually did that. There you did. I'm um, okay, sure. That's right, we are now playing no band list modern. That means everything that's on the band list is now on the table for us. Vig, we're playing some really, really broken decks and I'm so excited to see what we're playing that we'll get into the games right now. Just before, if you do like this content, we put a lot I of- I was alerted of banned cards. Oh yeah, that was me. He's playing You're banned cards. With us. Sub, please sub! We are playing no band list modern and I'm really not into the business of doing fair stuff, so I chose Hypergenesis. You can put everything into play, you don't need to care about your opponent because your creatures are bigger and better and you can do that as little as three mana through cascading. I've looked through the internet and found an idea of what I want to do, but actually since we're playing no band list modern, I didn't go for Emerald Core, I didn't go for Progenitus and all that very expensive clunky stuff. I also want to have the chance to interact with Carl, so I chose the Chancellor of the Annex that also makes all the spells cheaper from the beginning of the turn. I chose Grief, which is good once I put it into play if he plays, if he keeps like some instance of sorceries. So yeah, deck's quite easy. Get the three mana, play Cascade Spell, put your hands into play, win the game. That's what we're doing. Okay, if we're playing with banned cards, it means we're coming to do broken things. And speaking of broken things, I don't think there's any mechanic that got more cards banned than Storm. The thing about Storm is that usually it's hard to cast a lot of cards. If you've cast a lot of cards, it costs you a lot of mana, so then casting a storm card is difficult. Maybe you'll do it for two, maybe you'll do it for three. Your opponent casts some stuff, you play end of turn. Thing is, what our storm deck is doing is it's cheating on mana and then adding itself more mana. So you can just cycle through cards and play them back with flashback so that your storm cards are bigger. What we're winning with is a card called Grape Shot. Ideally, we play, I don't know, 18 spells, caps, grape shot. We also have a random area of flame in our deck and we're playing a bunch of cards that were just incidentally banned because of Storm. They're cards that if you just saw online while browsing through banned modern cards and didn't know why the cards are banned, you'd be like, why the hell is this banned? It's okay, it's pretty good, but it shouldn't be banned. But a lot of these enable other things, including Storm. We're playing the banned search cards. We're playing Ponder. We're playing Preordain. They draw us cards. We're playing Treasure Cruise, which draws you three cards for usually one mana. We're playing Jetaxin Probe. Just draws one card, but you look at your opponent's hand and it's free. Two life, in this case, is free. And then speaking of mana, we're also playing Seething Song. We're playing Rite of Flame. We even get to play Chrome Mox, which is banned. And in the sideboard, I don't know what Tarav brought, but we might have to be countering some one drops, so I also brought Mental Misstep. So uh, Tarav, thank you for paying for my bail. <laughs> I'm too silly for prison. <laughs> do you think you would survive? <laughs> no, I would not do well in jail. Maybe if you bring some magic decks. Maybe. And maybe if I get better at rolling dice, do you want to start with that? Hit me. Five. <laughs> That's, this roll should be banned. Um, well, maybe I'll bail out from prison also. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go. You start? Yes, I would like to go first. All right. I really hope we have no game. Just no a, game? Just at all. We don't play at all? No. This is exactly the kind of hand we want. It's got kind of it all. Because of the Chrome Mox, it means we can untap with Feral on turn one. And then you've got Jetaxin Pro. We have Seething Song into Gift Ungiven, which will be able to tutor for a Pass in Flames, which is what we need to win. I assume this is good. I'm going to keep it. Well, <laughs> you're obviously playing a bad deck. This hand isn't great. We do have a chance there, which hopefully stops and delays something that is very, very good on turn one. And we do have a Cascade spell, so we're good to go on turn two, but we were missing kind of the Haymakers, so I hope we're gonna draw them in like two turns. You keep, I keep, but because we're playing Unfair Magic, I have game actions. Yeah, not, yeah. You're not even going first, but yeah, I assume Wait, you which is actually, mine. Which is actually what happens, yes. We'll do a Gemstone Cavern, and we exile a Gemstone Mine. Flavor. Oh. Give it a luck counter, and also, I will show you this Chancellor of the Annex, which means your first spell costs one more and it's countered. Oh, that's actually quite good against me. This Chancellor completely ruins my game plan. It's crazy how just one extra mana once in these super efficient decks just does so much. Actually, your Chancellor made my hand so bad. Um, I'm gonna get my Jetaxin Probe countered. Mm. Oh. Ping two life. Well done. Me. I'm gonna put a Spire Bluff Canal into play, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I will also be, this is no Bamland Modern, I will also be exiling a card. I'll exile the Baral Chief of Compliance to play a Chrome Mox. Mm -hmm. uh, it now taps for blue, so it'll play for the other Baral. Oh, handy. Handy indeed. Uh, I'll pass the turn to you. All right, I will draw 
and play an Ice Bridge, which gets a different kind of counter. Uh, now I have a Charge and a Luck counter. Here you go. All right, I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. I'm not going to do a lot. I did a lot game turn one, now I have to rest. I'm just going to play Mountain and I'll uh, attack you for one. Ah, uh, 19. All right, pass it under you. All right, uh, we're going to play a Gemstone. <laughs> which is this you guessed it. Tribal. A different kind of counter. <laughs> I love it. And I'm going to attempt to cast an Ardent Plea, which removes one of the counters from the mine and triggers Cascade. That will resolve. I assume you have a spell that I can hit. Of course you came with Emrakul. Eventually, there you go. Uh, All right, does Hypergenesis resolve? I hope he doesn't have an Endurance in hand because I need to cast my gift now in response because I know he has a Chancellor. Um, so it'll be in my graveyard, but I want it there because I need to cast it again. It will, but I will respond. Paying only three because of my Baral to cast a gift from Given. Mm -hmm. So I like the game we're playing Tarev, but let's play another game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Divide This Into Two Piles. Two cards that go in my hand, two cards that go in my graveyard. Mm -hmm. Fun game. Oh, well, you, do, you need to start playing more games. I kind of assume that you have already the payoff in hand. What? Mm -hmm. Goblin, Goblin Electromance is a great payoff. I have the decision to either deprive on mana or deprive on card advantage. And I kind of have to figure out what he needs most. And I think in this case, there are a lot of cards that got cards, and I think that this is slightly more easily accessible for Carl. So I'm going to take away the mana and give him the worst mana efficient cards. So we give you this, and they go to the graveyard. Yeah. All right. You get the mana. No Goblin Electromancer. Too bad. You didn't fall for my trick. Uh, I um, put it into play. Now you're Hypergenesis. Ooh. All right. Resolve. Does it resolve? Yes, it does. All right. I start. I will put into play a uh, Mana Confluence. That's it? Okay. Well. That was no, fun. Wait, 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 wait. We're still playing. Yes, I, I know there's there's more. Hurt. Would you like to put something into play? No, you put my Goblin on Electromancer in the uh, graveyard. All right. Then it's my turn again. It's fun. I will put into play uh, the Chancer. The Anti Storm. Yeah, which you now have to cast one more. Do you want to put something in play? I think you actually can't because you. Because I passed my turn. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure how that works. I don't think it's very important. All right. Well, then we'll put in a Sarah's Emissary. And you have protection from a spell you name, no? No, from a card type, yeah. which would be sorceries. That's okay. That's okay. Yep. Then my Genesis resolves, my plea resolves, and it's about your turn. So you're saying that I have two turns. Now that Great Shot does nothing, um, I need to draw that one area of flame. Let's, let's get there. I'll draw for turn. Good luck. I'll try my very best. So I'm not going to make this my storming turn. Um, I'll just try to make this my not dying turn. So you say this is the calm before the storm. It is the calm before the storm. I'm just digging. So this is not reduced by one, so I have to pay two for my ponder. Um, I'm but gonna cast a ponder. Also the difference from the chancer. If it would cost one more, you couldn't do that. Yeah. Like you could do that. My storm count is one? Yes. <laughs> I will shuffle. Ooh. All right, come on, area of flame. Wasn't that? Mm. Um, I will pass the turn to you. All right, I enjoy this. Let me draw for turn. Oh. <laughs> Did you get another one? Oh, I'm such a good player. It's great. All right, we'll attack. Yes, you don't get exalted if they attack twice. No, I'm uh, so I'll take twelve. <laughs> I'll go to six. Can, do you have two lightning bolts? <laughs> and I cast green because I just drew it. And I can cast it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All not right. magic! <laughs> mm, I'll take one. I'm going to 18. Uh, I don't particularly care about any of them. I think it doesn't make a difference which one you pick right now. Mm, this one. All right. My go? Yes, sir. I think I'm dead. That was a fun Do you want to untap and attack me? No, no, it's fine. You make it. All right. Safe. I'll see you in the next game. <laughs> Sideboarding is kind of straightforward. We're taking out the Solitudes because even though we could hit the Baral and the Electromantis with it, we kind of don't want to exile the card and lose the tempo. And it's also not a great card to put into play because we're not expecting Carl to put anything good into play as well. And also the Emrakul goes because, well, putting Emrakul into play doesn't win the game. We need to actually attack with it and I need to have interaction once I put stuff into play. The cards we're putting in are Endurance, which is great against the graveyard combo, against Preston Flames. So we're gonna hope to catch him off guard by shuffling all the cards from the graveyard into deck once he casts Preston Flames. And we also got a couple of Mystical Disputes just to interact with him a little when he wants to try and interact with my Hypergenesis. All right, sideboards. First of all, 
he can make my sorceries useless. We're gonna have to play around with our wind conditions. We are taking out the area flame and the two grip shots, but we're bringing in to empty the warrens. If he doesn't kill us after we play the empty the warrens on the swing back, he's dead. Speaking of dying, we need to do not that. So I'm bringing in two Pact of Negation and two Flusterstorm to counter Tarav's spells. For that, I'm gonna take out two Ponder, one Treasure Cruise, and the Aerial Flame. All right, I'll go first, sure. again. Again. Um, this time, hopefully you don't have game actions before I get to play. This hand seems great. I have Protection, I have Baral, I have my spells. This is good. I would like to keep this. I'm not the best, but also not the worst. We have a land in the Spirit Guide, meaning one land can cast us the Cascade spells to get the Hypergenesis. We do have Endurance and the Hypergenesis, so we can intervene at the combo if we need to. We have a Chancellor that throws him down. I think this is medium close. I could maybe see a Mulliganing, but I think this is also just fine to keep since we're on the draw. Medium sure this is okay. So medium sure? Yeah. But... Oh, stop taking game actions before I get to play! <laughs> it's just fair, right? You're playing banned cards and I make them more expensive. So that's not even card. banned. No, no, but like, I'm fighting you. you know? I'm pretty sure if you added one mana to the cost of a lot of the banned cards we're playing, they wouldn't be played. Yeah, obviously. So it's fine. Evening the playing field. I'm going to play a Spire Bluff Canal. Yeah. And I think it's worth doing this. I'll take two and pay one. Ah, it was even free! Damn it. Uh, to look at your hand and draw a card. I hope you draw your next two hypergenesis. I'll draw for my uh, Jitaxan probe. Why are you so rude? Pass the turn to you. Alright, I'll pick up my hand and draw something awesome. Awesome. <laughs> um, well, we're gonna play a confluence and say it's here. So slow. I'll draw for turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fetch, taking more damage, getting an island, and I'll play Baral, Chief of Compliance. That way he's off. You, he complies. He complies. You don't. It's, it's your turn. You never comply. It's me? Yep. I'll draw. Ah, Carl. Life is great. Uh, we're going to play a Reflecting Pool. Okay. And then tap both. Taking one. And exile the spirit guide to cast a demonic dredge targeting your belong. So he can't block? Uh, he can't block. You can counter it. Uh, I will not counter the uh, uh, demonic um, consultation dread. What do you mean not this one? No. Oh, God, you're, you're an evil person. Uh, you get a cascade trigger. Yes. No. Life is hard. Oh, hypergenesis! This seems real good. Oh no, 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 Carl, Carl, this is not fair. Um, you, you know how you exile stuff. I'm gonna um, exile this Purity mm. to cast Force of Negation. Um, Nobody likes you. All right, it's exiled, right? Yeah. yeah it's um, uh, I also, I, I, it can't block anymore, but it gets me to cycle because uh, yeah, I have it all. Counter sure. the spell. Sure. Very nice. I'm gonna draw and discard this Steam Vents. I'm sorry. Well, your Boral can't block. <laughs> he can't take yeah, this. He's so much worse now. It's also removed. Yeah, I mean, it's your turn. Okay, so that's one down. One's in your hand. Yeah. Might want to start thinking of suspending it. I'll start by attacking you for one. 18. Before yeah, I, I think I can take my time. I'll pass to you. No, just be hurrying, you know? You need to take risks in life. With Storm, it's, it's, it's easy to just think that you have to Storm off immediately when you have some spells in hand but it's about card quantity. Ooh, another like confluence. Land? And it's your turn. After the first hypergenesis didn't work, we could try for another one, but I also feel like it's not really likely to resolve. So I'm gonna just try to have the endurance open and maybe even catch Carl attacking with it. I mean, he knows, he knows that I have endurance, but I mean, you never know, you know? I will pass the turn. I'll tap both of my lands. Yes, sir. I'll draft a turn. I will play a tap steam fence and I'll pass the turn to you. Wait, why aren't you attacking? You showed endurance in your hand. Well, yeah. Draw your silly card. Now that I drew the Sharkness Agent, I actually have the green card back up, so now I'm gonna suspend the Hypergenesis because this endurance back and forth game might take a while, and I only have endurance to cast. It's not that the 3 4 body will go the, all the way. So I'm gonna suspend Hypergenesis and maybe get like off two Hypergenesis in one turn. Show me your banned cards. Uh, well, that's actually exactly what I'm gonna do. 16. I will suspend Hypergenesis. Pretty sure it's not banned because of this reason, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's your turn. Um, I would 
Draw for turn? Yes. I think I'm I'm gonna try. Alright. I think I'm trying. Try me a river. You put me a clock. I'm gonna attack for one. Fifteen. So it goes to two. No, that's mm. not how it works. I'm going to tap for red. Only paying one because of my barrel. Mm -hmm. I'm only gonna say this once. Mm. I'll play metamorphose. Right. Adding I'll, two red. I guess. Uh, two blue. Adding two blue. Do you have like stuff? Alright, right. right. Two blue. Those are the, very nice. I will draw. Yes. I am going to pay two life. Fifteen. For a Gitax Probe. Show me that shiny hand of yours. Oh, Terastodon. I is drew a Terastodon, yeah. Um, I'm going to draw. So All right. Tell it if it's storming time. I'm going to use one of the blues. Storm counts at three. Oh, that's a good ponder. Half of it is a good ponder. Um, I'll still... I'll keep it in this order. Draw. I will play, I'll use a floating blue and this red to play a Seething Song. Yes, that Adds gives to the storm count. five red and a storm. I need to play my mock now, first, before the Pass in Flames, because usually if I play the Pass in Flames, you can just exile my graveyard, but now, if I have some open mana, I can react. So three mana in my pool, I'd like to play Chrome Mox. Uh, sure, that's storm number for six. Yes, any, any reply, response? No, no, no. I'll exile a blue card. Mm -hmm. Um, so it gets, it taps for blue now. I will use two of this red mm -hmm. from the five, and I will tap for one blue. Uh, yep. So I still have one red floating. You use the blue, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll one red. play a Pass in Flames. Call cast Pass in Flames, and then I'll have the choice to either shuffle in the graveyard before the Pass in Flame resolves, or after. Before means that he cannot get access to all the instants right away. You can cast one sorcery and then the instance, and that's uh, that's about it. But then on the after point, I also get to shuffle away the pass and flame, which might be used if he has the capability to combo off again. Okay, uh, that you see over it, that resolves. All right. You go up to seven storm. Ooh, nice. Uh, I like hearing the word storm. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll pay two life to play a detachment rogue. You go to 13? Yes. Uh, you go to spell number eight, mm -hmm. and I think Juicy. this is the point where I have to intervene. You're pulling the trigger? Yes. The trigger calling endurance by exiling Shardus Agent Ooh. going to store number nine. I, I have a flash spell too. Um, I'm going to start by, in response, this on the stack, I would like to cast a metamorphose. Yep. Your red is gone. My red is gone. Uh, but I will add but red and blue. And draw a card. This is spell number ten. Oh. And then, uh, I would like to use the red and blue so to play, it, it is, yeah. to play Seething Song. So you go up to five red. Yes. And spell number 12. Very uh, 11, much. sorry. And then uh, the Endurance Resolves. All right, comes into play, shuffles your graveyard. Bye bye, under my library, right? Yeah. Can I draw a card for your Texan probe? Yes, sir. Um, I'll draw that card. I show you those cards, which are the same. So this is exiled because I cast it. And uh, y'all have to sacrifice this. Yes. Let's go. Okay, what's the storm count right now? The storm count is 11. You have five red and pool. I would like to cast a Seething Song. So you go down to three and then add five. Thank you very much. And you go to 12. 12. Oh, that's really close to your life total right now. I would like to uh, play a Pass and Flames. Mm -hmm. That works. You go to 13. Yep. And this goes down by three. Uh, right. By three, yes. Yeah, you go to five red. Yeah. And then I would like to play Seething Song again. For two, yeah. So you go to three, then go to five, and to storm 14. I'd like to grip shot you. Yes, that's enough. Well done. It's close, it took a lot of counter spells. Crazy. And through an endurance. All right, game three. Who <laughs> modern would be so broken without a ban list? You want to see uh, how you can do with the play? Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm wondering if play is actually ready because then you don't have the caverns. Yeah, they can rot in your hand. But I assume just playing out of land is much better. But I didn't draw a card. Oh. My third hand is not good, I, I admit. But it has a terrestrial, and I think having terrestrial goes a long way. I don't assume he has many mana sources, so if I can get rid of all of them, maybe that catches him off guard and then could just play a long game where he can't cast anything. But I also have a Grief. If I draw another Cascada, I can cast the Grief with the Demonic Dread. Or I can cast it on turn 4 when the Demonic Dread didn't work. So I have some options. I will keep. Um, this is not a bad Storm Hand, so I will not. It has Force of Negation. 
It has Goblin Electromancer, but it also has poor land. There's two more lands than I'll ever need. Wish me a better hand? No. Rude. Just honest. Yeah. Um, I'll draw seven cards. This is much better. It's a turn one Baral. We're just gonna get rid of another of those extra lands. I'll put one at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you may go ahead. All right, I will start with a Gemstone Oh, cabinet. it feels so sad like this. Sad times. You go. Uh, I will draw for turn. Um, I'm going to play a Spire Bluff Canal mm -hmm. and a Chrome Mox. Mm -hmm. With the Chrome Mox, I'll exile a Mana Morphos. And then I will tap these two to play a Baral. That works. And I'll pass it underneath. <laughs> turn one Baral, not so bad. It's a Chrome Mox card. Ah, that was not a good card. All right. I will play a Mana Confluence. Ooh. Plus Baral like, hits. Your turn. All right. Um, you could, I could attack. <laughs> you could outburst and block with an Ember Cool. I don't think I want to do that. Um, <laughs> block with an Ember Cool. That could be. That would, that would be pretty neat. Yeah. I'm going to fetch. Yes. Taking one. And I'll put an island into play. Okay. I'm going to hope you don't combo off now and I'll pass that funky turn. Draw. Uh, All right, uh, we're going to play a Reflecting Pool. Ooh, now you have a lot of mana. Take one. 19. And cast a Dread. Return. Dread? No. Something scary. Barak and block. I go to 19. Trigger. Yes. Okay, I like to react to Hypergenesis. Don't. This ah. feels a lot like last game, uh, like game one. Ah, yes. um, but I will play a Gift some Divot, give yeah. Pain 3 only because of the Baral. Okay, this was a little cheeky. Um, so you have Pass and Flames, of course, it's a great card. Uh, you've got a Seed Song, of course, it's a great card as well. Uh, you also have a Goblin Electromancer and a Pact of Negation. You think you're smart, eh? Very. Uh, very. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. You will get... Not those. Oh, uh, I wanted those! Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, those get into my hand. I hope the cards in your hand are bad. Alright. Send Hypergenesis like... Gazorus. It does. Would you like to kick the party off? I'm very surprised my Hypergenesis gets through. I don't have much, but I, at least I have a Terrastodon to cut all the lands and then a Grief to maybe take something away. So this should be a longer game I can draw something into. Yes. On a Saturday night, I'll put in a Mana Confluence. Pretty lame for Saturday night. Do you want to like a something? Monday evening kind of thing? I'd like to put a Fiery Islet into play. Hmm. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate that I get a land. Uh, I will put a gemstone mine. Is that the kind of party we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to play a steam vents. Uh, which way? I am valuing drawing the card, so I'm gonna take two. I got a 17. Great uh, round deck you got there. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. Basically, thanks for coming. Cool to me. <laughs> All right, I will put in to play a grief. Oh, I don't like that, but I mean, there's... Do you have more game actions? I do not have more game actions. All right, then I pulled in a Terrestrial. <gasps> I think I'll need that mana now. That's what I was uh, hoping you don't do. All right, that's Hypergenesis' turn. And then we have at least two triggers. Okay. One of them targets you. And the Terrastodon will target those three. These three here? How would you like to stack those triggers? The Terrastar on Resolves first. I'll put a mountain? A red? Yes. Uh, oh. all, these, all three of these will die. Uh, where are the elephants? You have the elephants. Oh no, they're my elephants! <laughs> He's doing my they're elephants. They're mine now. Yeah. Thank you. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. And then we grieve you. <sighs> I don't think there's much I can do in response. These are the goods. Pretty good. They are pretty good. I have to remove your seething song. Good choice. Thank you. And that's my impressive turn. It was pretty impressive. I got three elephants though, and a bunch of lands, and then they went. What a what a roller coaster of a turn. <laughs> I mean, I have two more lands now. All in tap. Yeah. I'll draw for turn. 
Um, I guess I just have to pass the turn here and hope that... The past in flames? Did I hear past in flames? Past in flames the turn, Todd. Okay. So you pass. I would like to, yes. All right, my turn. I you were very to... unkind to me last turn, so I... Was... I need something good. I would like to attack. Okay. I'd like to triple block the Trastodon. Did you draw a lightning bolt? I'll take three. Take three. Go Fourteen. Fourteen. And it's... Let me look at your graveyard. Oh, you drew an endurance. I can neither confirm nor deny that. All right. Uh, I'll... You go to 14. Yes. I'll draw for turn. Mm -hmm. If you have an endurance, I'm not even going to attack. I can keep on taking three for a while. It's your turn. I drew an Arcan. Unfortunately, I can't play the Gemstone Cavern as it's legendary. So I need to wait until I have like six lands, play Simeon's Guide, and then play the Gemstone Cavern to get the eighth mana for the Archon. But I'm afraid that Carl actually gets to do something because he has like six cards in hand. So I'm trying to bluff Endurance as best that I can and just hope he doesn't go for it. All right, hit it. I'd like to take three again. Yes, sir. I'll take the usual. <laughs> 11. <laughs> I'll take the usual. Uh, go. Gonna keep on being annoying. I'm gonna drop. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna need to wait till I get more of that juicy old mana. Uh, I'll pass it to you. Come on, one time. What are you one timing? Oh, with Genesis? Wait, I bluffed Endurance all the times. So now I actually drew it. Oh, this is great. I hope he now really has to go for it and I can catch him. Funny, but also heartbreaking. Heartbreaking? I'll take heartbreaking any day. Seven. seven. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll draw for turn. Still not what I'm looking for. Um, still don't feel like I can attack into your probable... Uh, I'll pass to you. At one point, you I'll, have to. Next turn, I'm shooting my shot. I've got one chamber in the bullet. No, bullet in the chamber. You're at seven? It's a very small chamber. I untap. One time. Uh, it is not two times. Attack. Uh, I go to four. Four. And I will play a reflecting pool. You're at four. Well, I feel it's very sad, but I have to do it. I will cast a Simi Spirits Guide. Are you hard casting it? Yeah. Ooh. Welcome to No Battleless Modern. I'm attacking with a 3 2 and a 2 2 that costs three mana. Three, two mana, please. <laughs> All right. Uh, you go. All right, this is turn. He has to go for it. I have endurance. There's nothing that can go wrong. It's great. I'll untap. I'll draw. I didn't. I said on top, but I just yeah. <laughs> poked my lands. Uh, ooh, um, that's really good. I drew a scalding turn. Yeah. I told you I would try for it this turn. Okay. I think I have no choice. You have no choice. Well, I can block this for sure, uh, but you probably have the endurance. Well, now you go to three. Very good. Take your pain. I'm going to sack this. Go to three. Go get a mountain. I would have loved an island, but I only play one mountain and one island, just to say I have them. Okay, uh, Tarf, Zeverin, here goes nothing. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> pass the turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, cast a Rite of Flame. Resolves. You have right. two red. Storm is one. Here, two red on my spirit guide. No, because that makes him bigger. It looks like plus it one It doesn't count. matter at this point. Um, then I would like to use one of the reds to cast a Metamorphose. Red and a blue. Resolves. I draw for turn. I could stabilize or I could win. Or, or lose this turn. And I think I told you I was going all in. So um, I'm gonna endurance check. Use. Um, Is it like a DD turn? No, it's like you asked for the check no, I know. at the restaurant. I know. I know. Yeah. Ah, this <laughs> check. <laughs> ah. There's too many, too many checks in the English language. I'm gonna use all three of these. Czechoslovakia as well. Um, all right, so this is. <laughs> that's interesting. But I assume it's just too strong. So we're gonna cast Endurance. You'll take two? Yeah. 17. 17. Um, yeah, that's my graveyard. Mm. Um, yeah, that's gone. Yeah, go away. Nice Past and Flames you have there. In response to Past and Flames, oh. on the stack, yeah. I'll pay one life. Going down to two. Oh no. Uh, I would like to cast Metamorphose. Yes. Yes. Uh, I will draw. I, I just want to give him flashback. Mm -hmm. So you make a red and a blue? I'll make a red and a blue indeed. Okay. Passing Flame still on the stack. Oh, Found more things to do. The um, worst, it's the worst one. <laughs> seething Song! Yeah. I would like to go down by two mana, go up by five red, 
and um, add a storm to my count. So both of them are gone, and then yes. you go to five red, and you go to six storm. Yes. Pass and flame resolves. Mm -hmm. Then they get flashback. I would like to use one red to give myself a red and a blue. Mm -hmm. So you go to five red and one blue. And, and an extra storm. Seven storm. I will draw. Then I would like to use two of those red mm -hmm. to add five red. Three and add five. Go to eight and eight storm. Eight storm. I would like to cast an empty the ones going down by three. Yes. Uh, 18 goblins. Oh no, Carl played this perfectly. I mean, I was telegraphing Endurance the whole time and then I actually drew it. And now with Carl playing around Endurance, he's actually able to make a lot of goblin tokens that I have nothing to do with. 18 goblins, indeed. Um, I brought just a you mishmash goblins? of goblins. No. <laughs> uh, in a very goblin faction, I brought uh, different types of, let's go, let's put them in lots of six. One. Let's make a different one of each. There you go. Um, Unfortunately, you used all your mana. Like all your dice. All my dice. We really need to get more dice. Six. I have all this mana in my mana pool. All dressed up, but nowhere to go. I will... Uh, so you're done. This doesn't actually have five counters on it. Uh, I am done with my turn. Oh, wow. Okay. I somehow live... I don't know. So many roller courses. I thought I win. And then I... I think I'm just dead. Okay. It's another turn. Another turn. Hope you draw a lot of blockers. I... I'm not sure what helps, but you know, we'll see. Okay. Draw. It's bad. Oh, what? No, those eyes. Wait, what? Oh God, I forgot I could just cast the emissary and give my creatures protection. Ah! <laughs> ah, you fool. What can you possibly have here? Oh, casually tap six mana. What's that big green dinosaur? Six, six for six? I don't know, would like to play against Stone Caverns, which uh, legend rules my other Gemstone Caverns. What do you need seven mana for? Uh, that seven. You're By the way, about. three of those were white. And I will play a Sarah's Amazon. <gasps> yes! <gasps> I would like to announce creatures as the choice of this card. What does Sarah's Emissary do, Taralf? Well, I choose a card type. You and creatures you control have protection from that card type. And oh. you choose? Creatures. I would like to attack. Okay, you may go to attacks. Okay. <laughs> Wait, actually, no, that's for attack. This is much better. <laughs> You're too, right? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, magic is fun. Good game. Well, Talon, if it was fun um, looking at each other, play our decks. Good yeah. match as a solitaire there. I mean, we had a surprising amount of interaction for what I thought would be just two decks playing. You, you did beat me down with a two two. You hard cast a Simeon Spirit Guide. You, you died to Spirit Guide. <laughs> this is all fun. If you want to see more Bandless Modern, you sub, you interact with this video. It just shows everyone on our bosses that we're doing the right thing and it puts the video out there. See some more Storm, Storm. Um, but, but if you enjoyed it, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>